Uh, now let us see how do we use these tricks. The first trick is the differentiation rule. And the second trick is the fact that you can switch uh, P with X and X with minus P. So let's see the first one, how we use the differentiation rule. So we have one Fourier transform pair already, which we have derived from first principles, which is F of 1 by 4 pi r is equal to 1 by zeta dot zeta which is equal to 1 by zeta square. So now uh, let fx be uh, 1 by 4 pi r. So f comma k of x is minus 1 by 4 pi r square into uh, del r del x k but del r del x k is xk by uh, r so this is xk by 4 pi r cube which means that now Fourier transform of f comma k of x we know from the differentiation theorem is i zeta k f bar zeta and f bar zeta is 1 by zeta square so this would be i zeta k by zeta square is the Fourier transform of f comma k which is minus x k by uh, 4 pi r cube that means f of x k by r cube is going to be minus 4 pi i zeta k by zeta square which is the result that we have here so this was the first trick, the differentiation trick. So the next trick is the swapping trick and we can do the swapping once we have got a Fourier transform pair. So here is our Fourier transform pair that we have got. This is the Fourier transform pair that we got. So now uh, we are going to take the Fourier transform and replace zeta by x. So this will become 4 pi i minus of 4 pi i x k divided by r square. So this replacing zeta by Fourier transform of this will be equal to this function with x replaced by minus p. So this would be uh, 2 pi whole cube uh, zeta k minus zeta k divided by zeta cube that does not depend on the plus or minus so this would be zeta cube. So now we have uh, this result now uh, f of x k by r square is equal to minus 2 pi square i zeta k by zeta cube which we got by swapping x with minus zeta. If we do the same thing with the previous result that we have got, we had got f of 1 by 2 pi r, uh, 4 pi r I think, is uh, 1 by zeta square. We can swap this. So we can make this zeta square equal to r square. Mm -hmm. 1 by 4 pi zeta that's what this becomes and this becomes 1 by r square so uh, we have Fourier transform of this is equal to 2 pi cube times 1 by 4 pi zeta this is what we have and that leads to this result okay so uh, this is how we do it uh, this is for log r. So if fx is equal to log r, fkx is 1 by r, xk by r. So that is xk by r square. But for xk by r square, we have already found the Fourier transform in the previous, uh, previous uh, slide. So this is where we have found xk by r square. We now use this result to get another Fourier transform pair, which is this. You try these things out. 
these are not difficult it's um, just a, a systematic application of these two tricks there is one more trick in our bag which uh, is often used to derive newer and newer uh, Fourier transform pairs from known known relations and that is this so uh, if you take the Fourier transform uh, formula the inverse or whichever you take the Fourier transform formula fx e to the power minus i zeta x dx minus infinity to infinity if you take this this is your f bar zeta now if you take del del zeta k of this then this is not affected this term is the only one affected and you get minus i zeta m xm del del x del zeta k which will give you uh, minus i x k e to the power minus i zeta dot x okay so this is what i have done here the i comes out and then you have x k here e to the power minus i zeta dot x k and f x remains so uh, the derivative of the Fourier transform with respect to the to one of the Fourier variables is equal to minus i times the Fourier transform of x k times the function so if you know the Fourier transform of the function Fourier transform of the function fx which is here you can take its derivative and find the Fourier transform of x k of x we use that uh, this so this is the result that uh, written written in a compact fashion this is the result and uh, using that we have this result already we have derived this and then xk by r Fourier transform xk by r simply comes out to be the derivative of this derivative of this with respect to uh, so derivative of 1 by zeta square with respect to zeta k which turns out to be this result so uh, this is how we get uh, Fourier transform pairs and here I have compiled a list of all the results that we have derived. Uh, remember the convolution theorem. The convolution theorem is also important. The convolution theorem is something that we are going to use. So these are Fourier transforms in 3D uh, where we start from this result basically and then apply these tricks one by one to derive all these results. Uh, that are sketched in the previous slides. Similarly, for 2D, uh, I have compiled a table. We start from this result in 2D. This is the known result. Then one by one, we derive using these uh, these simple tricks, remembering that in this case, R square is X1 square plus X2 square. Zeta square is Zeta1 square plus Zeta2 square. Uh, remembering these uh, basic rules, we can derive these results one after the other. Also, the convolution, of course, holds. In, in, in this case, uh, u is a two-dimensional vector, whereas in this case, u is a three-dimensional vector. Other than that, these are the results that we are going to use now to solve uh, problems in uh, linear elasticity, especially isotropic linear elasticity. Okay.